brought to you by Shannon Medical Center and Shannon Clinic. Barrett's esophagus is a condition in which the cells of your lower esophagus become damaged, usually from repeated exposure to stomach acid. It is most often diagnosed in people who have long-term gastroesophageal reflux disease. When we look across the board at the people we do upper endoscopy on for symptoms of acid reflux, perhaps as many as 15% of those people will have Barrett's esophagus. But the group most at risk for Barrett's esophagus uh, tend to be those over the age of 50, uh, Caucasian males, those who have a high body mass index, that is, they tend to be overweight. That's the group of patients we are most concerned about uh, being at increased risk for the development of Barrett's esophagus. Barrett's esophagus tends to not have any special type of symptoms, so it is important for patients who have acid reflux to schedule regular surveillance of endoscopy every three years. Barrett's esophagus has played a primary role in the significant rise in esophageal cancer over the last 10 years. This Barrett's esophagus causes a different type of cancer, an adenocarcinoma, uh, which uh, unfortunately tends to be quite aggressive. By the time it's diagnosed, it frequently is uh, uh, well beyond uh, our uh, ability to treat the patient and cure them of the disease it is a devastating illness and uh, as always with any cancer uh, the best uh, way to diagnose this and manage it is to get to it very early and hopefully even before it develops into cancer. For more information on Barrett's esophagus please call 657-3702.